Forrige uke var norskamerikanerne i Fusa kommune. Vi love Norway. This is not my week. I don't, I don't know what to say right now, but this is the best day of my life. To family and friends. Yeah. Family and friends. Og det ble dessverre siste stopp for Isaac og Ashley. Ok, Big Red. <laughs> Norway is a beautiful place. I'll miss it. Fra Fusa skal reisefølge nå fortsette sin Norgesturné nordover, langs høye fjell og dype fjorder på Vestlandet. Vi er fra denne landet. Det er så insane til meg. Oh my gosh. Ja, det er en postkart der. Ja. I enjoy traveling by bus because we get to see a lot of the sights. I really think that the mountains and the ocean are so beautiful. Um, being right next to each other, it's like the best of both, both worlds. På deres ferd nordover venter en overraskelse for en av deltagerne. Hallo. 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 Is it not long to Lardal now? So we know one of their have family here. Oh. Yeah. So we take one uh, snap stop here i Lardal. This is insane. It hadn't quite hit me that this is where my family is from. This is like my place. See you guys. <laughs> wow. I can't believe I'm here. I just don't know how you'd ever want to leave this place for Wisconsin. I would never get tired of just waking up and looking, and there's all of this. I've always loved mountains so much, and I've never lived by mountains, and I've... Being here, I think I know why I love mountains so much. Kelsey. <sighs> Dear Kelsey, this is the place your great great grandmother Anna Ingebrigtsdatter Lunde was born in 1854. Growing up on a farm meant hard work all year round. As she got older, Anna became a cook for road and railroad workers around the country. It was amongst these hardworking Ralara Anna found your great great grandfather Eric Nilsson. Hug, and in 1875 they married in the Turnium Church in Lardal. So weird. <laughs> On March 1st, 1892, Anna and Eric's last child was born. Your great grandmother Ingeborg Elina Eric's daughter Lunda. Oh wow. Ingeborg or Inga? <laughs> oh, Grandma Inga, stop. <laughs> as the family called her, had a tough start to life. Only, thir oh, only 13 days after her birth, her father Eric died. Oh, wow. This was a devastating loss to the family, leaving Anna alone with the care of seven children. Desperate and out of options, Anna made an extremely difficult decision to send her youngest daughter into foster care. I can't imagine, especially for a family that was so tight-knit, having to separate and being forced to say, OK, this child will no longer live with us. In 1900, we find the eight-year-old, eight, 
eight-year-old Ingeborg in the care of a family in a city called Songdal. Okay, that makes sense. That's why I couldn't, I didn't know if they were from Lardal or Songdal. In 1910, after visiting her mother, she decided to leave Norway in hope of a better life in America. By then, five of her older siblings had already left for America, leaving only Kari, their oldest sister, back in Norway to care for their mother. <laughs> her descendants are your living Norwegian relatives, and some of them still live at Bruheim, where they run the family farm. Getting this information, being here in this amazingly beautiful place, and getting to see the actual cabin where Anna grew up, it's motivating me. I, I am ready to just continue competing, and I, I'm going to meet my family. Men før Kelsey går tillbaka till bussen för att fortsätta resan, tar hon en sista runda på gården. Oh wow. Oh, no. oh my god. It's beautiful. Dear Kelsey, this is the song Vinod, used by people who have a connection to this county. Try putting it on and see whether you feel more Norwegian. P.S. 17th of May is coming up. Bring this with you because you get to keep it for the celebration of the Constitution Day. Oh my gosh. Gratulera med dagen. When I was younger, I drew a picture of myself wearing a sari, holding hands and like skipping and laughing with myself wearing a bunad. But the difference is I've always had saris. I own like four right now, but I've never owned a bunad. So just wearing one, especially one that's from, like specifically from the area that my family's from, that's not a thing with saris, at least not a, that I'm aware of. So it's. It's amazing. It's like, I'm wearing the clothes that belong here, so I must belong here. Oh my gosh! Look How at you! Get a wow! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at they judged you! Oh my gosh. I know! So cool. Welcome back! Is this your family's bunad? It's not my family's, it's but area. it's, it's yeah, yeah, the Songa bunad. <gasps> That's really amazing. You look fantastic. Sorry to be a party pooper, but I think we gotta go. The bus is here. Okay. 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 You ready? Den uka er det Sundmøres uoffisielle hovedstad Ålesund som skal få besøk av våre norsk-amerikanske venner. Her skal de bo i et av byens typiske jugendhus. This is ours? Oh. Alright, shoes off. Yes. Yeah. This place is fancy. So nice. No wow. shoes in this place. <laughs> oh. I know. Oh. Can you imagine waking up to this view every morning? Yeah, let's we'll see. There's a bunch of bread and crackers over here. Oh, nice. Yeah. We've got, oh, there's a little girl. Looks like liverwurst, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah, fish, yeah, yeah. fish liver. I don't think it's fish, though. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Like, That's liver. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's totally liver. It's fish liver. I like it's it, It's not though. fish liver. Like it is liver. absolutely fish liver. I guarantee you. How many fish would you have to use to make that? They have <laughs> sweet livers. They have, like, really nice ones, and they're, like, mushy. It's fish liver. It's fish liver. I don't care what they say. I'm standing my ground. It's fish liver. I bet this is Swedish. For, it's some other language, maybe Danish for fish. Are you put, Fisk. Let's just say it, it's fish liver. It's fish liver. Cool. It's fish I guarantee liver. you, it's, it's a lot of fish. It's, it's fish liver. It's fish liver. Okay, it's, it's fish liver. It's fish liver. Dana was like, it's fish liver. And I'm like, it's not fish liver. She's like, it's fish liver. So I'm like, okay, well, eventually you'll discover that it's not fish liver. Okay, it's, wait a minute, it's pig. It's Svina liver. It's yeah. like, yeah. it says liver pulse. Similar as you. Svina liver. I'm thinking Svina is it's like pig. It's fine. Pig. It's, it's, all right, fine. I give up. It's, 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 it's pigs. when you're just like, uh, this pigs one. are good. I feel so naughty. I'm... It's new God. <laughs> <laughs> so naughty, Julie. You're mm. so naughty. The feeling in the group is pretty high. It's so generous that we get to 
shack up here for, for a few nights. I can't believe it. It's pretty amazing. Some people question whether or not this is like a summer home, and there's no way. There's... Hey, she changed. She's fine. She's fine. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh, hey. Hi. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Maybe everyone can gather around the table. Mm -hmm. Fun time over. So. I know. No more relaxing. Uh. <laughs> so, what do you guys think of the house? I'd I'll like take to it. move in. Yeah. yeah. You have moved in. <laughs> you mean we get to stay here? Yeah, you get to stay here. Oh, I thought this was part of a competition or something. What's the competition, Julie? We had to clean it or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the people from Sunmeta, they're known for making every penny count and being notoriously hard to bargain with. There's a popular saying that they swim inward so they can collect the water. <laughs> and they're also known for being able to make a fortune from a piece of rock. In Norwegian, Gjøre gull av gråstein. Gjøre av gråstein. And to make a fortune from a rock is exactly what you're gonna do in this week's competition. What? Here are the two pieces of rock. And you can be creative and do whatever you want, but as usual, there's a lot at stake. Because the losing team will have to face each other in the jigsaw quiz next week. And two of them will be sent home. Uh. I think at this point we've learned to expect the unexpected, but I don't think anybody thought two would go again. So, use your imagination and turn this rock into a fortune. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, sure. It's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this is a really rare uh, rock here, local, local organic rock, and um, very sustainable. Super hot in the art scene right now. <laughs> what do you think, you buying? See, just toss it around and just feel the magical elements of it. I feel taller, I feel thinner, I feel <laughs> I feel more self-confident. Maybe on a summer picnic and your your tablecloth is blowing away. For only 300 kroner, you can have this rock to keep it in place. I ukas konkurranse har vart lag fått utdelt en gråstein och deras uppgave är att göra den om till guld. Lagene har en timme på sig och välger själv vad de vill göra, men de må bruka steinen. Enten det er som et byttemiddel, eller som en del av et underholdningsnummer. Det eneste de ikke har lov til å gjøre, er å bare tigge til seg ting. Det laget som til slutt har fått inn mest verdi i form av penger og gods, vinner konkurransen. At this point, I can't imagine anyone's gonna give us a lot for a rock, so I assume we're gonna have to do something else, some kind of service. På det røde laget finner vi Chase, Evan, Kelsey, Julie og Mike. Mens det blå laget består av Matt, Mark, Kirsten, Dana og Cheyenne. It's our peace rock. Peace rock. I like that. Yeah, it's a peace rock. Yeah, okay. whatever. Okay. Yeah, okay. peace rock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. we Let's got it. Uh... Okay. What a scam. <laughs> I am nervous and excited and nervous and excited and nervous. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay, Who's here ready? we go. Who's... Hello, everyone. Um, we are here. We are um, trying to send this peace rock around the world, and we're looking for donations to um, to get this peace around the world, to spread peace, spread the love. We're Americans and... trying to represent peace, yeah. and we're doing whatever we can to send this rock around the world to represent peace. So if you have um, a so kroner if interested or, in giving any donations. or 100 to spare. The rock is our representation of peace for this, and um, when people touch it, it's kind of like their connection to it. Um, so they're basically donating to touch the rock. We'll take anything. I mean, if you have, like, the stick of gum, even. We'll take a stick of gum. Yeah, anything. If you feel like a rock could bring world peace. <laughs> if you feel like a rock could bring world peace, um, you know, it's an idea, right? In some ways, we did bring a little bit of world peace because we communicated with many people. They gave us something. We gave them something back. So that's very peaceful. Også det røde laget starter med å prate med folk på gata. Hi ma'am, can we entertain you? Can we sing you a song and entertain you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. uh, well, we would, yeah, we would ask for something in return, anything of value. Two cigarette, um, we would love to do. You don't look like you have money. I have nothing. Uh, uh, I have a um, phone that's broken. Oh. I have my Visa card. No Thank corners. you anyway. No Come corners. on, you guys. Is the phone broken enough to lose? <laughs> hmm? no. Is the phone completely broken? No. No, no. okay. Okay. We gotta hustle it. Okay. Let's find some some live ones. Our strategy is to ask people for something of value that they're willing to give up in exchange for a song or a dance. Would you like to hear a song from a singer from America? Look at they're getting up and leaving. 
<laughs> I'm open to falling in love in no way. Julie really wanted to sing a song, like really bad. And she's great, she's a great showman, but she wanted to sing the whole song. Such an astonishing place. I kept thinking, we need to give them one verse and then go. We'll sit aquavit in our Nordic retreat. I guess I sort of wanted to entertain people a little bit more. I thought they deserved it, especially when they gave us such nice gifts. Come on. Oh, Julie, Your come on. Lips Julie, will Julie, come on. Julie. Julie. She wanted to give them options for a song. She wanted to sing the whole song. She wanted to ask if they wanted another song. And then she wanted to ask their name, <laughs> you know, give them her card on the way out the door. If they don't want a song, we have to no longer do songs. Yeah. Yeah. Snart får vi vite hvilke av lagene som må konkurrere i neste ukes utslagskonkurranse. There's a lot of things on there that I'm not really sure if they have much value. Og norsk amerikanerne blir nok en gang språkforvirret. Oh, I got all dressed up to chop fish pudding. Denne uka er norskamerikanerne i idylliske Ålesund, og konkurransen er godt i gang. Lagene prøver bokstavlig talt å gjøre gull av gråstein for å bevise at de har ekte sunnmørsk forretningstalent. Hello, gentlemen. Rødt lag har funnet ut at i butikkene er det mulig å gjøre gode byttehandler. Kan vi bare gjøre denne jacket for dette, og kan vi gjøre det? Okay. Sometimes we're singing for items, and sometimes we're giving them items in exchange for ones that are like a little bit higher in value. For the chocolate, these ones? Yeah, the chocolate. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's okay. Yeah. So we saw the red team, and we realized we needed to change our strategy because they were going into stores, and we weren't. We can talk to the owners and be like, do you have anything to give us? Oh, yeah. maybe the owners. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. We can Absolutely. give you a rug. Thank oh. you. Yeah. Yeah. And you touch the, the rock, touch the rock and touch. know that you are helping Thank to spread so peace. Oh. It's kind of a strange concept. We had this peace rock, and we're asking the store managers for items of value because we're spreading peace, and uh, amazingly enough, they were giving us some good things. Yeah. Awesome stuff, so let's Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Toast and talk. Could we, could, could we, have, could we have a bra to would, go with it? Could we get a matching bra? <laughs> Mark had amazing tactic, and I was so happy that he thought of this, because it's, it's bartering. So if they're willing to give you one thing, they might be willing to give you more. OK, so maybe some sunglasses that aren't selling. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yes. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect. And so make sure you. Did you touch the rock? No. So I'd say about 80% of the people that we asked if we could get something else said yes. And maybe it doubled what we had, or even tripled. Tiden er i ferd med å renne ut for begge lag, og de setter opp tempo for å øke formuen mest mulig. Nice. A bag full of blue? Yeah, nice. Thank you so much. 89 kroner for this. Thank you. Uh, uh, All right, yeah. So, See you later. <laughs> you, of course, have heard of a Bunod, right? Of course. Yes. 2,850. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. yes. The value of this is uh, around 1,000 Norwegian. Oh, this is for a Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, my nice goodness. Holy crap, she gave us a Bunad thing. OK. All right. I guess um, the only thing left to do is just give this to Frechoff. Yeah. yeah. Feel good and, about it? And I think I, we did good. I think we did good, too. I, 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 I feel good. I'm feeling about it. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Before yeah. we do it, Team Red, ready? Yeah. Ready, Red. Red! This is the most ridiculous event I've ever been a part of. I feel just super thankful that those people were willing to work with us in that manner and hopeful that it that it was enough to put us ahead. Okay guys, this is Britt. Hi guys. Hi. 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 She works at a local charity shop, so she's really used to pricing all sorts of different items. She's now going to go through everything that you've gathered. It's all yours, Britt. Thank you. Oh, I must say, really impressed. I think this is a very good one. And those mittens are good value. But balloons... Mm. <laughs> and I felt confident that we're going to win. We have some big-ticket items. This is a really nice one. 
What is it? It's used for our local bunad, and it's called Sundmörs knapp. That's really a really good catch. Yeah? You continue this one? Yeah. Oh, you got some money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff, but we have, like, you know, dog poop bags and, like, an apple and, like, old lipstick. So there's a lot of things on there that I'm not really sure <laughs> if they have much value. It's used. It's used. <laughs> <laughs> no value. Ooh. Wow. I think it's called a matta knapp. And what's it for? It's used on a bunad. Fantastic. There's no way for me to tell. I'm not entirely convinced that we're going to beat them. Do you have some results for me? There you go. Red team, you managed to gather the total value of 4,802 kroner. So blue team, you managed to gather the total value of? I just really want to hear Fritjof say, you know, red team, you got more value out of, <laughs> out of your rock. 5,548 kroner. Congratulations. It feels so good. <laughs> you are safe for another two weeks in Norway. I'm just glad I can look around at, you know, the blue team and be like, everybody here is going to be here for a couple more weeks at least. Team Red, this means that you have to do the puzzle quiz next week. How does it feel to be on the losing team again? Well, I'll tell you, it feels like crap. But guys, all this is next week. And I have the perfect thing to take your mind off the competition. See, tomorrow is a really big day for us Norwegians. Do you know what it is? Sutnamai. Sutnamai. <laughs> and I've arranged for you to go to a retirement home to help the elderly get ready for the national day. There is one thing that always gets them in the right mood for Sutnamai, and that's a cabaret. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I don't know Norwegian cabaret, but I do imagine they, they do some clomping and some stomping and some ifta. So inside the house is everything you need to prepare a classic Norwegian cabaret. Get inside and make us proud, all right? Okay, all right. okay good luck. You. I don't know what a traditional Norwegian cabaret is yet, but I'm, I'm anxious to learn. Oh, hi. Ooh, we're going to do some cooking. Oh, cabaret. Oh, this is quite different than what I think about cabaret. Oh, cabaret. cabaret. Oh, we have been oh. duped. <laughs> expecting a cabaret to be food. I was like, oh yeah, we'll get to like perform, maybe there's some costumes, but it was a bunch of food. And it was kind of weird looking food. <laughs> here, here. Let's, Do we need let's okay. measure. It looks like what comes out of my garbage disposal when I clean it. Just because we're making this doesn't mean we can't sing and dance. <laughs> <laughs> Two to three hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> a bowl of shrimp, 250 grams of fish pudding. <laughs> well, I got all dressed up to chop fish pudding. The more fish pudding, the better. I bet they don't even know what cabaret music is, do they? A lot of people don't. They think it's dancing and strip teasing. I do no strip teasing, unless they pay extra. My concern is like, are these dry enough? Should I put a hair dryer on them? So they told us in the recipe that we had to have the vegetables as dry as possible. And so we were a little rushed for time, so we pulled out the hair dryer and, and went at it. I don't know if using a hair dryer is like the most sanitary thing, but I, I mean, it could be okay. Oh, those feel nice and dry now. Do they? Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh yes. Girl. That'll be pretty. Um, yes. I think they're gonna look really cool. We made one that had like asparagus, like kind of going along the ridges, so that might look pretty. Um, if it all comes out in one piece. There it is. Oh, there it is. I heard it. Oh. <laughs> 
it seems like a very healthy dish for people. In fact, if you were starving to death and you had nothing else to eat, you could live for over 50 years on that dish alone because it has everything in it. Welcome and bienvenue, stranger. <laughs> Come cabaret, oh cabaret, oh cabaret. <laughs> I'm looking forward to presenting the cabaret to the elderly. And I hope they're not disappointed in our cabaret skills. Våre norsk-amerikanske venner skal nå besøke Skarbøvik sykehjem, og her skal de også få lære mer om hvordan nordmenn feirer nasjonaldagen. Hallo! 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 Mitt namn är Hans Olsson. Gratulera med dagen. Do you guys like cabaret? Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. good. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We made that. What do you love about Set the Mai? Everything. <laughs> what is like the year of uh, independence that Set the Mai celebrates? Är det lite vanskligt med engelsk? Självklart. Ja. Det är inte så lätt för mig heller. Gammal man inte. Som en del av 17 maj förberedelserna ska gängen nå få öva på å gå i tåg och självklart synge nationalsången. Norwegian is a tough language uh, to read, to speak and to also to sing. I was pushing a nice lady in her wheelchair, and we're going along, no problem. And then her front wheels, which are about that big, just took a nosedive right into a hole in the yard, and I got stuck. gonna be a bumpy ride. And then the next thing I know, I'm hunched over doing like a rugby push trying to get her through the yard. <laughs> so that was really interesting. But we made it, so it was fine. Nobody got hurt. <laughs> What's up, Norway? My name is Matthew Wedeen, also known by Wyden. I am from Two Harbors, Minnesota, which is the northern part of Minnesota, right next to Canada. I have an undergrad in natural resource management, master's of forestry, and I live in a log cabin by the river. What's up, buddy? That's Herman. Welcome to Beverhusen. And this is Larry a friendly local beaver who's resided on the porch since I was a kid. Well, this is it. It's not much, but uh, it has a great heater, maybe lacking electricity and running water, but it's got a beautiful river outside. It's got a super cozy loft up here. This is where I sleep. My interests are essentially outdoor stuff. I may live in the woods, but there's lots to do. And granted, do I like being outdoors and seeing the trees, the Mountains, rivers, absolutely, but what really makes a place are the people. Hello, relatives in Norway from Minnesota. <laughs> Heritage is a huge part of it for me, being a member of Sons of Norway my whole life and, and knowing I have relatives in Norway in places like Hukkalastrand. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but um, you know, I, I want to see that. This is my grandma Violet and she was an excellent rose modeling painter and decorated our house with many pieces of art that really gave me a strong sense of heritage growing up. Getting out and seeing new cultures is absolutely amazing, but the one that I haven't explored yet, whether, you know, it's, is, is my Scandinavian heritage. Of course, I want to meet my family. I know they're there. I want to see the land that they own. I have heard these stories, these kind of fairy tales growing up. It sounds kind of too good to be true, and I want to see it. I can't wait to see what Norway actually holds in store for me. Look out, Norway, here I come. It was very fun. Hans is a good singer, so it was good to, to be next to him so I could hear 
how to actually sing Javi Elsker. Talk for singer yeah. med jeg. Det er en hyggelig kar i hvert fall. Det er det. Joakim. Ja, det er en hyggelig kar. Også på fine tenner. Flotte tenner, hva? Hva er det? Heilige gebisse. Jeg har ikke sånn det. Altså, jeg er så betatt ut av tenner. Flotte tenner, hva? Fantastisk, det er det. Ja, det er det. Norge er kanskje ikke det mest folkerike landet som finnes, men vi liker å tro at det er noen ting vi gjør bedre enn alle andre. Vi har de flotteste nasjonaldraktene. Når vi er ferdige på videregående, så er vi verdensmestere i å feste i røde kjeledresser. Og når det er 17. mai, så elsker vi landet vårt. Matt, this is the Bunar from Sunmor, a part of the county Mor or Romsdal, where both your ancestral and now living family comes from. Nice. Oh, mm. I can hardly wait to see oh you gosh. in this. This is going. Oh, you are <laughs> going to just. You are going to just shine through. Mm -hmm. Wow, I feel like this is kind of like. Almost like it has a military kind of feel to it. Yeah, I like that. It looks very yeah. like sharp yeah. and sophisticated. Yeah, totally. yeah. Dana, your great grandmother emigrated from Ano Anui in Nordland, so you you can safely wear this boot on with all the pride in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> My great grandma. It's about family, and it's about belonging. It's just familiar. I know this. I've seen this in pictures, and I'm gonna need to go home and talk to people and see if people have pictures. And if my great grandmother had a bunad, I mean, where did it go? Oh. Sorry for the ugly cry. No. Oh, crying is never ugly. <laughs> crying is beautiful. No. I'm really honored, and, um, and sometimes it's not about what you had. It's about what you never had. This is my son Chris, my husband Peter, and my other son Keegan, and I'm Dana, and we're from Shoreview, Minnesota. Hi! So, a little bit more about me. I have a food truck. We make artisan mini donuts. I am reinventing myself as a death doula, and you'll find out that I'm a goofball, and I'm, I'm cool with it. I, I know who I am. As you can see, I'm standing inside my mini donut food truck. Yay! I wish you could try one of these, but actually you wouldn't want one of these because these are super old. <laughs> Probably hurt your teeth. So you guys, I don't know if I've ever told you about the family history from Norway. I'm 51% Norwegian. My grandmother, her parents both came from Norway and that family name would be Vibey. Good vibes. This is my family. My my mom's family. So that's my grandpa and my grandma. My mother and my grandmother both went to Norway. And my mom at the time had talked about how we would go. And by the time I was able to go, my mother had developed dementia. So this trip for me is very um it's kind of like the trip I was supposed to take. I'm sorry. Um, so anyway, it's very touching to me, and 
also I don't want to say it's like on my bucket list, but I'm getting older and um, I guess you could say it's on my bucket list. Wow. This is the Kring Kringling Bunad, one of the Bunads that or originates from Sigdal municipality where Egdal is located. Your Norwegian family contact Anna Iren will be enjoying the day in the same Bunad. Wow. wow. Oh my God, that's so amazing. Oh. Wow. It's very emotional. No, I don't even know her, but I feel like uh, we have this connection now. We're both wearing the same bunad and representing the same region on this special day. <laughs> wow. I am definitely going to wave a flag for my family and my group. This is the beautiful Nordlands Bunad. Both your great-grandfather and mother were born in Nordland County. The first man who wore it supposedly said that when he met other free-minded young people at gatherings and parties, Aww. this was the Bunad that got the most attention. Oh, no. Free-minded, is that code? <laughs> <laughs> That's a code I didn't know anything about my family, and I still don't know anything beyond my great-grandmother who I met when I was a baby, but even then I didn't know anything about her. I don't have much family. I don't, both my mom and dad are gone. When my dad was sick, we talked a lot about coming here, and I don't think any of us realized how little time we had, and I kind of feel like this is my opportunity to do it for him. This is amazing. You're gonna look so fly. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. We're going to walk so tall and so proud and, and look people right in the eye and just say, I too am Norwegian. Oh, yeah. Oh, my oh, yeah. Scarf with yours. That's amazing. Yeah, you look great. like you could be a famous actor. Everybody in the room, when they wore their bunads, wow. With everybody looked extremely Norwegian, and we all couldn't have been happier and couldn't have been prouder. We're all so sharp. If we were to walk into a nightclub, we own the place. You look so great. <laughs> Especially you, Matt. Uh, yes. <laughs> look at this. Not bad. Do you I know like where this, this is from? Oh. Yeah, it's from here. I know. Yeah, pretty cool. We have a bond today. We do. We yes. do. Yeah, especially this. Yes. How did it feel to put on the national costume for the first time? Wow. Oh, oh, electrifying. Yeah. Yeah. It was magical. Yeah. You yes. look so yeah. incredibly yeah. Norwegian right now. <laughs> <laughs> your flags and your bunads. Yeah. You sort of are. Yeah, yeah you are, yeah. indeed. <laughs> Are you ready to celebrate Sutnamai for the first time? I just kind of had to keep like pinching myself and be like, I'm here, like I'm in Norway on Sutnamai, and uh, I mean, getting to wear a bunad. entranced by all the children. They were all, like in their little tiny bunads. They're so cute. <laughs> this is flippin' awesome! This is flippin' awesome. Guys, I'm arranged for you to have your own place in this parade. Yeah. Yeah. It's between here, I think, before that school. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is our place. Let's go. Hip-hip, hurrah! Hip-hip, hurrah! Hip-hip, hurrah! 
I've never been in a parade, ever. So it was as good as it could have been. I could have stayed all day. I felt a, a sense of uh, a pride that I could be part of this and that I, I felt um, like I had a family. And um, it was really powerful for me. OK, guys, come over here. Just back here is the Rus. So I was thinking maybe we should try to walk with them for a little bit. Yeah. They know how to party. Yeah. You got to get people involved. You got to look this way, that way, kind of welcome them into the dance that you're doing. Got to got to raise your hands up a little bit, and you're turning it up. It's a building of a momentum, is what it is. That's what you're doing. You're not raising the roof. And when you get it all up there, then you just got to shake it out and start screaming with the hip hip hurrahs. <laughs> okay, guys, we got to get out of the parade now. <laughs> 17 May festen har vært en uforglemmelig opplevelse for norske amerikanere. Men snart går turen videre, og da blir det alvor for de som skal ut i en utslagskonkurranse neste uke. You guys have been here for a little while now. And you know that next week you have to do a competition where two of you have to go home. How does a day like this sort of spur you on? Does it give you motivation for the competition? Totally. Yeah. yeah. You have your low moments, you know, especially when you know you're going to be up for elimination, but I don't know, you forget about it and things like this. How could you not with a parade? Yeah. 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 Every day I feel a little more inspired to have another experience to continue on in this competition. I think Sitamai, more than anything else, has made me want to stay, want to learn more about my culture. Getting to experience Sitamai was really important for everyone here, and putting on these bunads was almost transformative because it made us all feel so much more connected to Norway and our Norwegian ancestry. Today was amazing and I I only want to be here for more of that I've gotten information about my family I've had sit in the Mai I've worn the bunad and I'm just I'm not ready to go Neste uke fortsetter reisen til en bitte liten bygd i Jørunfjorden Welcome to Yrke Her blir gjengen satt i arbeid what have I got myself into? It's been the time of my life. Og tapelaget møtes i en utslagskonkurranse. Would you like to guess what's in the picture?